Hello everybody, and welcome to part 5 of our series on understanding binary options. This particular video deals with a simple strategy where we try and utilize trends in a particular stock or index in order to make um, well-educated uh, trades. And uh, let's start by briefly recapping what binary option trading is. Essentially, we pick a commodity or a currency or stock or index, and each of these has a current value right now before we're ready to make our trade. And binary option trading relies on our ability to predict what that value is going to be sometime in the future. We call if we think that value is going to go up, and we put if we think the value is going to go down. And um, being right gets us a percentage of what we put in, but being wrong means we lost all of what we invested. So earlier on in our video series, we talked about certain strategies. We addressed a purely random strategy, which is to say that you have little or no experience in this area. And we talked a little bit about uh, the profit and loss models involved in uh, video one. We also dealt with a strategy which bases itself on the principle that no stock or index can just keep rising or falling indefinitely. And if we just pick any direction and stick with it, eventually we're going to be right. And um, whenever we are right, we want to offset the losses that we've incurred uh, during the times when we've been wrong. And this was covered in part two of our series. We also talked about investing in related indices in order to maximize our profits. And uh, related indices are those indices that are uh, linked via one or more currency. For example, uh, the US dollar to the euro and the US dollar to the Japanese yen are linked uh, via the US dollar. And uh, we talked about this in part three of our series. And uh, the last video, part four, dealt with uh, the, the majority vote strategy where we just uh, put in our lot with whatever the majority of the people are doing. So this particular video deals with looking at trends. It's not a strategy that I have come up with. Um, it's, in fact, a pretty well-known strategy that we're covering as part of our video. Um, essentially, what it is is we pick any index and we observe uh, the changes in its value uh, for cer a certain duration of time. And we look for basically three kinds of simple patterns. Um, the pattern on the left is known as the upwards trend. The pattern in the middle is the neutral trend. And the pattern towards the right is the downwards trend. Essentially, the upwards trend says that the value generally is increasing over time. Neutral means we can't ascertain any particular direction. Sometimes it's going up, sometimes it's going down. There's no clear upwards or downwards trend. And of course, downwards is where the value is decreasing over time. Now, and what we do with these patterns is we try and translate these things into decisions that we're going to make for our particular investments. Um, if it's upwards, we want to call because we think that the general trend is for the value to be increasing over time. So any given point in time, we just call and uh, at some point later during um, the, the schedule of the trade, the value should be even higher. Um, if it's downwards, we would put because we think that the value is actually going to be lower later than what it is right now. But if it's neutral, we don't go, um, we don't, we don't call or put because we're not sure. Um, and that's exactly the information that uh, the neutral strategy conveys. So essentially, by looking at the trends for any particular index, um, and I say index, but it could just as be a stock or any commodity. Essentially, by looking at the patterns, we're able to make good um, guesses at what the future value is going to be, and we utilize these patterns in order to make effective trades. So what's the problem? It seems like a fairly logical strategy. Um, first and foremost, it's very rare for trends to be so uh, clear-cut. Um, often, the, uh, oftentimes, the, the um, actual patterns can resemble uh, something like the neutral pattern or something in between neutral and one of the um, other patterns, downwards or upwards. And we have to be really careful that we're identifying the trend correctly. Also, even when we are able to identify trends correctly, timing is everything. This is very key. Uh, firstly, we have to trust the source of the trend, wherever we got this trend from. And a lot of sites will provide this trend for you during uh, in, in the trading platform itself. But we have to be very sure that the trend is fresh. It's still ongoing. Um, we also have to be sure that the trend is uh, represented accurately by whoever is providing the trading platform to us. But more importantly, we have to get in early on the trend. And this is key to, because timing is everything. So what do we mean by this? Uh, why do we have to get early on the trend? Because trends are 
not not continuous in the sense that if we go back to the principle that we've talked about earlier in our videos nothing keeps rising and falling indefinitely so we have to get in while a trend is ongoing we can't go um, join um, or, or take part in a certain tra uh, trade because we think that the trend is going to continue whereas really the trend is almost done with um, and this has something to do with the point of inflection in curves and I'll provide some information in the um, description of the video but it doesn't actually have um, anything particular um, to do with this strategy so we're not going to go into details suffice it to say that let's let's just take a simple example um, to illustrate what we're getting at let's say we pick any commodity um, and we try and look at its value over time and we see based on some trend graph that hey it looks like the value is increasing over time and we decide you know what I think that this is an upwards trend let's get into it but and so we we decide to call right here but what we find out is that the next interval the value actually fell down and we're thinking oh my god this looks like a downward trend okay let's go ahead and uh, trade again except this time we're gonna assume it's a downwards trend and then after a certain amount of time the value went up now putting these three um, instances of time together we see that in general it's an upwards trend so we're like okay we should call and then the value falls again and we're like okay and then the value falls again some more and the value falls again some more and it's come back down and so we think okay this is definitely a downwards trend and then it starts rising up again um, and hopefully by now you you understand what I'm getting at in that we we have to be sure uh, that we're gonna jump in on a trend while the trend is still ongoing because because a curve can change its direction at any point in time and unless we have prior knowledge that a trend is going to continue the way it is it's not going to actually change direction we need to be really careful um, and so I think this particular video um, details this strategy and it talks a little bit about um, why this strategy has certain aspects that we need to be very very careful about um, I personally have not had a lot of luck with this strategy. It's possible that the strategy itself is worthwhile, but I need to work uh, much more on my timing. And that's why I wanted to make sure that we talked a little bit about the timing and how that is a potential pitfall of this strategy. And for all the videos that we've covered so far, and all the I'm sorry, all the strategies that we've covered so far in the videos that we've done, we've talked a little bit about the fact that, um, for example, in this particular video, trends change and uh, nothing can continue to rise and nothing can continue to fall and so what we're getting at is rise and fall is common um, irrespective of which index or irrespective of which stock so what this what this is all leading us to is a is a fundamental question how can we sort of estimate when something is going to rise or fall or how do we know then something can't rise indefinitely beyond a certain point or fall beyond a certain point and this is taking us into the direction of two concepts known as support and resistance and that's going to be the subject of our next video so i hope this was useful and um, feel free to leave comments and suggestions on what you'd like to see covered and i guess i'll see you guys uh, in our next video thank you